Starting to pin out our gable. You might be wondering why we are going to cover up the front of this gable since we're doing, you know, the vaulted ceiling on the inside here. And the main reason for that is because they get sun coming in from this side in the afternoon and we want to create kind of as much shade as possible over on this side. So um, by closing that up, it's going to block a little bit more sun and we still have the nice open feel of our vaulted ceiling and it looks really nice. So what do you got going on? Stuff. <laughs> you ready to talk about it yet? Talk about what? Whatever stuff you got going on. What, you want to talk about the cricket? Or I don't know if you got life stuff you want to talk about. How you doing? You doing good? Grab my sunglasses today. Oh, you want to wear some? You can wear these. Yeah. They look kind of dumb on you. Yeah. Like about the same amount as they look on me. So here's what Tony's going to be working on today. Cricket action. So you can see we've got two roofs converging right here. And because of this octagonal shape of this morning room, it's gonna be a little complicated. So he's been up here demoing some of this. We'll see if uh, we'll see if he's got a game plan yet. Getting the mind of the master. Another little thing that you might kind of be wondering here is we have this five and a quarter inch beam for our ridge. So what we do is run our sheathing past our rafter uh, about two inches so it's not overhanging much this is cdx so it's uh it's nice plywood it's not osb where you know you might have this cracking but this way it creates this ridge and you don't have a flat spot on top so i've seen that happen before where people put the uh, ridge cap on here and it's like a huge flat spot you don't want that it just looks a little odd if you're doing this run your sheathing a little bit past and You'll have that nice, nice apex. good? Yeah, it looks great. Uh -huh. I don't know what you're asking me for. Did you fart? <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm sorry. It's so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You want to talk through your game plan yet? It's probably the Oddest, oddest little cricket really we've done. It's definitely hard. Yeah. Because of this area. Yep. Like, do I bring this point to here? Or to here? But then, like, what is this pile? Um, good question. Huh? It's a good question.
Which would kind of be fine. You would just have like then like yeah, like a little weird like fascia. <laughs> If you bring it to here and just like build this a cricket like you usually would, like you might have to like piece in another piece and then just have this kind of die in here. You know what I mean? Like you could basically just do that with plywood, like have it stop here. But yeah, but remember this way is level. This isn't. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. So, so as long as it still gets to here. So that's. Oh uh, well, then that's the low spot yeah. right there. Like I would have to take it to here. Yeah. So the only thing I like, like I said, I was thinking about doing is if I do that, like cut this sheet and like run this sheet to where like it meets. Yeah. And meets, and then that's like another valley. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I was saying. But you'd have to like cut back, cut back this. Now this will stay. We'd have to go over top of it. Oh yeah. Well then, either this will come out, like I'll demo more of this, and like cut this sheet out in a nice square, and build this to these, and then these hit that. Yeah. You want me to snap that? No. Okay. So, like, I can't it's snap it yet until I, yeah. I have to do this. So we'll have this playing into right here. Before we set these, are you are you gonna cut this back and extend the plywood huh? a little bit? Like what's your what's your plan? What's the plan once we get to here to bridge this gap here, like to get us down to that corner? Yeah, I guess I gotta redo that. Cause like if this plywood, you know, like right here wherever it's it's even, if it comes to here and then planes to that corner. That's basically, that's all we need. You need me anymore? I mean, like, it would be nice, like, coming to two by tens at, like, nine foot. Oh, okay, yeah. Get them, like, staged. Give me another two You could use a neck down helper, is what you're saying. Neck up your... Like, get, like, two, not, get them cut to nine foot. Yep. Stack them here. Okay. Give me, like, uh, take, like, a three footer as well. Okay. All right, I'll just, I'll strap up. I'll strap up. I'll be your guy. I'll be your ground guy. Just chuck those right on the ground. I'll clean them up. I'd rather like maybe get a piece of plywood down, so I'm not throwing them in between the joists. Your ground guy will take care of it. Let me get a piece of plywood down for you. Yeah, yeah. I'll, really yeah, I'll make my job a little easier <laughs> as the ground guy. All right. All right, going down to the ground. I have like a crow's foot. It's like three inches in. Mm -hmm. So if you're wondering what that's for, that's so. Uh, because we're using uh, inch and a half lumber. So we can put this right up to that mark. That planes us with this. And then our uh, sheathing is what's gonna land right about here, so. It's good stuff, man. Pulling this up, reframing this a little bit so this extends down onto uh, our A-frame. So all we need to do now is get our cricket to this point and by modifying this, extending this down, now once water gets there, it follows this new valley to the corner. So a little complicated, but we got we got Anthony Lombardo. There's nothing he can't do. How are you guys making out? Uh, we're waiting on the clear wood to do the rest of it. But okay. Stuff is nailed on. It's prepped. We got our angle cut as a guide. We're ready to go. Cool. Got anything for us to do? Yeah, actually. Um, today I'm gonna spray out the rest of these dimensions here. Um, we need to move like all of the uh, chairs and stuff. All of that stuff like behind the shed. Like over next to the shed. Cause then we're gonna lay the lumber like right here. Get it out of that. Cause uh, it's gonna be excavated this weekend. And Frank's coming tomorrow.
because that's going to be the long point of my bevel. Let me hit that intersecting point. Yeah, like that. 17 degrees? Yeah. Does it need to be perfect? Yeah, it should be like 17. Yeah. What are you talking about? But it's not like you're, it's not necessarily like you're smart, it's just we're different. It'd be a lot easier if I knew you weren't watching me. That's a nice cut. I wasn't gonna do that. There's no time to pat myself on the back here. I gotta cut this, all right. Is it perfect or did you give me an effed up measurement? Yeah, you didn't cut Yeah, I did. What do you mean? It's like a three and three quarters. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. Four and a half. Four and a half? Yeah. Okay. And what's the, what's the bevel? Is the be throw a, you sitting nice on your line? A little less than 17? Yeah. Go 15? Well, since it's a four and a half, this cut is different now. Yeah. So I think that's just the case. Well, that's a four and a half, but yeah. it, it will, the bevel is whatever this is. This is a three and a half pitch. Okay. This is a three and three quarter pitch, this is a three and a half, so like they're roughly the same. Okay. Me, I'm just like a little bit of a perfectionist with this stuff. I hate when people say rough framing. It's like blasphemy to me. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I can't help it, but just get on his nerves. It's looking good. I'm trying to get this angle. Like that. 
correct? Yep. I'm cutting the back's not great. Right. Here? Yeah, it's I know. the same thing. It's got gap in both ends. Oh, They're yeah. the same angle. But are you hitting here so it's not going to let you? No, if I go up. Are both angles the same or no? Yeah. They're both fours? Yeah. So you might need to you might need to cut these at like a four and a half pitch so that it sits above this. Yeah, that's what you'll need. Here, Sean, just hit with your don't touch it, Nate. I know, I get what you're saying. Put your pencil draw that line. Is that plenty nice? There you go. So you're gonna cut that and then just add like a quarter inch to that long point, like trace it on another two by four, and then see how that sits. And just go on top. Yeah. Alright. You know that? <laughs> I'll come down and explain. <laughs> That could be the piece. You don't got to make the other cut. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got to make the other cut. We'll scribe that tighter. God. Shut up. This is getting ridiculous. I know. Now you do your best, Nick, to like... Hey, why your stupid pencil back? my pencil. Oh. You put your gave square it to me. on that to figure out what the pitch is. Don't even worry about what the pitch is. All right, the if that fits, then we're just going to use that as a tracer. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You don't like that word? A tracer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I got to say, pattern? <laughs> oh, look at all these stair tracers I made. <laughs> <laughs> Typical construction site hijinks. Guys. <laughs> you guys are adorable. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's not longer. <laughs> Got like another blade off. <laughs> this is hilarious. That's pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Make sure when you trace it, you're cutting the line. Like pretty good because it could be like a tiny bit shorter if need be. But that's good. But it's good, yeah. All right, you're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, like fourteen. Got a little tip for you. We need to do the back cut of a four and a half pitch here, so that's a really a really steep angle. So now I got a four and a half. I can just put my uh, square on here come 90 degrees off of that and that's gonna be the back cut of four and a half which is uh i don't know how many degrees like 70 something there you go I know. All right, the cricket has been built. The roof has been shingled. The eyebrow on the other side has been built and also shingled. Drip edges are installed. Uh, that's it for this episode. Hit like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. This has been Premier Outdoor Living.